Bernard Lotti pour le Fashion Post avec Sophie Kula. Sophie Kula qui nous parle de magie noire. But I, I'm continue the interview in English. Thank you. Your collection and your mood is extremely sparkling. There is this kind of circus vibration and moreover ethnic colors. A little bit cluny sometimes, but I know that the women you dress up are extremely powerful. So tell me more about this point of view. Okay, uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, I love colors and it's very, um, very typical for my style. You know, if you saw my uh, collections which I made before, they are also colorful. So I try to continue this and uh, I think that actually this collection is more dark than before. Yes, yeah, so it's, uh, and the name of collection La Magie Noire is magic, uh, black magic. It's because uh, I try to mix the dark colors with small points colorful like you know uh, you feel in the forest and you have some sparkly yeah, something like that it's it's uh, this is my inspiration something magic in the forest some something uh, oh pardon it's my phone okay <laughs> so it's like a fairy tale yeah exactly yeah With dots brills it's more like witches shocking yeah. pinks shocking a uh, few colors I think it's also orange green yeah that's its opposite you know it's mixed with dark and shocking colors Colors, exactly. That's for me. It's, uh, it's my imagination about magic forests, yes, and about magic witches. But it's not uh, black magic. It's not mean that they are bad witches. They are uh, positive witches. They are more like some uh, some like secret, you know. There. And where, it's also about my woman. Where could we find this magic forest in Poland? Oh, we have a lot of beautiful, uh, beautiful forests, and also we have beautiful legends. So So that's it's magic. Yeah, legends. It's like half half true story. And no, so I think that legends, Polish legends, uh, Slavian legends, they are also my inspiration. Uh, and you have many story in the forest because Polish forests they are very magic. You should visit, really. Yeah, yeah. It's it's different than here. Trust me. <laughs> so nowadays you are in Paris. What represent for you the fact that you present your collection in Paris? It's really important for me because you know uh, Poland uh, fashion market in Poland. Just started to grow so every year is better and better but here is history of my fashion and the fashion week it's international event so for me it's occasion to meet people around the world uh, I can't do this in my country so uh, maybe one day it will be like that but uh, here it's uh, really prestige for me and really uh, I don't know how to say, but uh, it's very important. It's like chance. So I am very glad that Porsche Institute invited me here. It's it's really something amazing and a big step for my career. I hope also. Yes, and I'm very glad to meet you today. So hope to see you next season. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. C'était William Arlotti pour le Fashion Post. On se demande pourquoi des blogueuses font la gueule et des journalistes aussi. À vrai dire, c'est pas la question d'être blogueuse ou journaliste, c'est la question de, de faire la gueule. Non, mais it's not about your collection, in okay. fact. I'm just asking myself uh, some questions. Whatever.